Elon Musk has said that artificial intelligence is potentially the biggest threat to humanity, and now Brembo has gone and made a braking system that gets rid of anti-lock brakes, which has saved countless people over the 40 years we've had it, and is now replacing it with AI. And it's also set to be the future of braking. Hello people of the internet, I'm Nico, and today I'm delivering the breaking news on Brembo's new braking system. I'll explain everything there is to know about it, and at the end I'll decide if it's actually the revelation in braking that Brembo claims it is. Sensify, which is what Brembo calls their system, is likely to be the future industry standard for braking. But to understand what we're getting ourselves into with Sensify and how it differs from the tried and true ABS, we need to break it down into the two words that created it, sense and simplify. In a sense, there's not much to the system other than those two words, and while both words play a crucial role in the system, the sensing part is what makes Sensify so different. Using all of its sensors, the car determines the road conditions, the vehicle dynamics, and what the driver's needs are so it can adjust the brake bias accordingly. Think of it as like a torque vectoring system, but for braking. And this adjustment of the brake bias is where the simplify aspect comes in, because rather than having a fully hydraulic system or even a mix of electronic and hydraulic, and then a bunch of external computers systems to help keep the car under control, it is all one system with two control units, some wires, and actuators to operate the brake calipers. But how does it compare to ABS, a system that we've been refining since it came out in 1971? Well, the now well-refined anti-lock braking system is actually not very notably worse at coming to a stop. The biggest difference is the drama, or rather the lack thereof. If you've ever had to floor the brakes, you'll have felt the brake pedal pulsing as you come to a stop, and that's all because of how ABS works. I've explained in detail how it works in an older video of mine, which I'll link below the like button, but the dumbed down explanation is that the car alternates between panicking because the wheels are locked up and panicking because the car's not braking enough, and it'll do that several dozen times a second until the car comes to a stop. And with over 40 years of fine tuning, the system is now far more effective than you trying to feel the traction limit yourself. As I said, Sensify differs in that there's less drama, and it does so by sensing where the limit is and staying right on that limit, offering the most effective, in control, and drama free braking experience possible. That's all wonderful, but the system doesn't have a very notable benefit in terms of stopping distance, mostly because at the end of the day, the limiting factor will still be the grip of the tire. Sensify, however, shows its benefits in other areas. First off, thanks to its simpler design, there are less parts and less materials used, so it should be cheaper than today's braking systems. Also, as Sensify replaces brake lines with wires, you won't need brake fluid, which will drop the running costs. Keeping the cheap and cheerful spirit, because the system is just two computers, some wires, and actuators, it is much more easily integrated into any kind of car, be it a commercial van, a luxury sedan, a family crossover, or even a race car. It's so universal that it can be easily integrated into any car regardless of it being left-hand drive or right-hand drive. Along with being a universally fitting system, it is also a very compact system, which allows manufacturers more freedom with packaging and therefore can give more room to interior occupants. Not that braking systems today took up a massive amount of room anyway, but I'll never say no to more legroom. And speaking of legs, down by your feet behind the brake pedal, there will be a different mechanism to transfer your stomping foot to the brake calipers. It'll be more like the pedals of your racing simulator, which seems like a downgrade, but it will allow for a much more customizable brake pedal feel. So you can have leisurely soft braking or spry instantaneous braking regardless of what you drive. The feel of the pedal will be yours to customize, not to critique. That being said, I do have some concerns. The first one being that there's also a hybrid setup which adds in two master cylinders and hydraulic lines at the front in place of the electronic brakes that you would get in the regular system. It adds complexity and components and it also adds running costs as you now have to deal with brake fluid. You would still get the individual control over each wheel and also the customizable brake pedal feel, but all other benefits are gone. My other concern is one that 54% of my viewers, who are of the old school generation, will likely share. Namely that it is another electronic system that I won't be able to fix should something go wrong, and it's more susceptible to hackers. Now, cyber attacks are pretty rare, there were less than 200 in 2019, so chances are you will never have to deal with it, but I admit I do take some comfort in a mechanical system that can't be controlled by some dude sitting at a computer in his pajamas. But those really are my only two concerns. Otherwise, I think this is a brilliant step forward in braking technology, and the driving experience only stands to benefit from this. Now, don't go selling your car just yet. Sensify won't be commercially available until about 2024, and as you'll see in my next video, now is not quite the time to sell. But once Sensify does hit the market, I highly recommend getting a car with their system. 
Do you have any concerns about letting AI taking over your braking, or do you trust it? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, people there net, peace out.